Yo, what's up, my Enwas? It's your boy, 50 Septim here. And today, today, today we're gonna, uh, yo, what in the sweat we doing? We're supposed to be making a video. Wait, really? Damn, that's easy. Looks good. Today we're making a video on the races of Tamriel. Roll that intro. Come, Nerevar, friend or traitor, come. Come and look upon the heart and a Kulakan. Now, there's like a bunch of different types of creatures on Tamriel. I think there's like nine or something non-animal races. Five elf and uh, three human. The first I can think of is the Altner. Nobody likes those Enwas, because they can't admit to the fact that they compensated for not having horns or a giant brass tower. That, and they lost to some staff-wielding mage Enwa. Then, there's the Bosmer. They're like tree monkeys or some shit. Except, they're like reverse vegans who transform into werewolves when they're mad. And then there's those Swift Falmer and Dwemer. Those Enwas are like the Dawn Guard and vampires to each other. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, there's those weird looking Swift. That ain't elf or human. Those Enwa Altmer call them man. -mer. Stupid, if you ask me though. Uh, and I think that's it for the Enwa Mer. Zero. I forgot about the orcs. Yo, hold up. Really? Really? I thought those Enwas were trolls or some shit. Well, I guess a professional artist gotta make yourself appealing to the wider audience somehow. So it looks like the Guar that wrote this script says that there's more than five mer races. Guess that's like six, er. Sura. You forgot about the Kashyyyk too. What? What? Really? Those furry slave Enwas. I thought they were just ugly Daedra that learned to talk. Well, damn. Alright. So that script writer Guar just told me that those cats, uh, the cat shits. They're called Kashyyyks. I mean, the cat jits, which is what I think they're called. Is also Mur too. The more you know, right? Anyways, guess that's like seven Mur races then. Don't matter though, cause they all end was. So now, on to the filthy man and was. First, we got some end was calling themselves Nords. They're like half giants or some shit. They look like orcs, but not as ugly. Also, they yell really loud. Then, there's like the Enwas that tried to take over everything. Call them they self Imperials. They lame and shit. But that Martin guy, he was pretty cool. I knew his dad once. Lastly, we got those desert Enwas. They're like Nords and Imperials. But they got fancy dancing swords or some shit. Probably trying to compensate for the fact they ain't half giant. 
what? or weren't able to have a giant brass tower like us. That does it for those man and was. They're strong sometimes, but they really switted. And now, onto the best race. The only race anyone cares about. The Dunmer. Formerly known as the Kymer. So the whole deal with us is that we ain't pushovers, aight? So when our old Swift fam, St. Veloth, was like, Hey, y'all and was best be going to Resdane with me. We was all like, damn, you right. And we followed him to Resdane. But then our leader, the pretty awesome Lord Nerevar was like, Hey, yo, see those Dwemer and was? I'ma be friends with them. But then, they ended up being etherealized, cause some stupid Dwemer architect was trying to blow up the Red Mountain or some shit. There was also some really loud Nord and well there, but we threw a mountain on him, so he etherealized too. At least I think. So after the Dwemer just enwad out of existence, my boy Nerevar was like, Hey, they left behind the heart of a Kulikan. That shit's dope powerful. We best protect it. So he put his best Enwa, Vorin Dagoth, on the job. But Vorin, he was into some real nasty shit. And he ended up going crazy. Then when Nerevar came back to check on his inlander homie, he almost died. Turns out Vorin took tons of power from the heart and used it to make Enwas grow drays out of their heads and shit. Anyways, when my boy Nerevar died, his bitches, they broke their promise to him. And my homin was Zura, making himself gods with the power of a Kulakan's heart and shit. They got Azura straight bullin'. She was all, damn, those some hoe ass Enwas. I'ma make them look like Malakath turd Enwa. And all the Kaima became ash skin and shit. Azura was real mad then. She said, Y'all Enwas best get your asses ready for the whooping my boy Nerevar gonna unleash on y'all. Just give me like two errors to fish his soul out of the wheel though. And then Azura just bulled out of there. In the meantime though, them Enwas who now call themselves the Tribunal did some twisted ass shit. But they got what was coming to them. Turns out Azura wasn't bluffing. Who'd believe that? And my boy Nerevar came back to life like two errors afterwards. But this time, he was even cooler and could float and shit. With his cool ass floating powers, Nerevar beat those Enwa false gods. And then beat his boy Dagoth for making tray headed Enwas and shit. The end. But I still be hearing those fake ass legends that Nerevar straight bulled to Akavir. But who in the right minds would do that shit? Nah, I bet you Nerevar started production on his latest EP. Probably called it Red Year and Wise too. Cause that fool Vec, he was like, I'ma throw rocks on their asses. And Nerevar was like, dope my Enwa. Thanks for the floating powers. They probably fist bumped and shit. Anyways. Guess that's it for this totally original production by the real 50 Septum himself, the dopest inlander to exist since First Era 216. You're forgetting about the Argonians. What? That squar shit, you Enwa. No way those tree bark slave Enwas is a species. They're like trees and shit, right? But Zura, they are a race. No, I ain't gonna talk about those Enwas. I bet they got some roots in this mushroom. Trying to use their hive minds to pick up on my brain watcher. That's how the his works. That's completely switted of you. Don't you know those Enwas ain't actually living? They got some connection to this massive ass tree in the heart of Argonia. It like commands them to do whatever it wants and uses any of them that drink its sap to get information. I even heard that it made those Enwas into war machines when it was being attacked. Okay, I'm serious. I'm serious though. When me and the boy Vec met up, he was talking about some crazy shit about how some tree was trying to mess up his plan and shit. 
It was all, better watch out for those trees and shit. They know shit. So you best watch your ass around them. And I was like, alright man, well, moon and star be with you. Then we fist bumped. Pretty cool. Sir, you're getting off topic. Oh shit, you're right, we're getting off topic. Sorry about that, my real in was. Looks like my time is up for today. But stay tuned for your boy 50 Septum, aka The Real Horridors EP, dropping soon. We got some fire guests on it this time. Moon and Star be with y'all. And don't forget to pick up a copy of my last EP, Red Year and Wise. Peace. Won't go to waste, won't go to waste, won't go to waste, won't go to waste. This 